Alrighty. Oh. Oh, stop that. Keep your hands to yourself. You just don't know where the line is, do you? <laughs> Hello, Debbie Harry speaking. <laughs> I wish. Sorry. Yes, this is Debbie Harris speaking. Oh, yes. We've entered. Fantastic prize, I know. 11am start, today on the promenade. We'll be ready. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jason! Honestly, you're awful. I got things to be doing. <laughs> Myself looking tip top. Wouldn't want you leaving me, would I, Jason? You're all right, Jason. There's... There's no one here. There's no one here. Competition day has arrived, tribe. Today is the day we've been working towards. Can anyone tell me what I'm holding up? The bin bag stems. On the surface, maybe, Janice. Oh, God, I don't think I can do this. This is what we've been training for, Carrie Love. What you were born to do. These red sacks represent change. And not the coins you find down the side of your sofa. I mean in the metaphorical sense. I always get terribly excited when I find a coin. Like I've had a little win on the lotto. <laughs> <laughs> then I have to remind myself it was mine from the start. Oh, that lady we met on last night's pick. She left a number for you. Janice, I told you I'm mad. Oh, it's been two years since June passed. You need to move on, Peter. These sacks are exciting because they mean a cleaner town for our community. And a picture in the paper with Jason Mohammed. That's amazing. Oh, I like him. He's a local lad too, you know. My mum says he's ubiquitous. It's a nice t-shirt, Debs. Yes, hoping to get it signed. It's his eyes. They draw me in. Oh, he's a cracking act of mine, fair play. Uh, actually, I think you'll find he's a presenter. He's done loads. Football, rugby, the athletics, the Olympics... Keep focused, please. Today's competition is part of the Council's new drive to clean up our streets. Chance for us to flex our muscles. Show that Maureen Evans who the real litter pickers of this town are. Talk of the devil. Morning, all. Hope we're not interrupting anything. I just popped in to pick up some more of our blue rubbish sacks. Morning, Maureen. Yes, of course. Peter, would you be so kind? Brian? I saw you slip him in your pocket. You're a sore loser, Richards. <laughs> Not around anymore. Dogs had them. <laughs> Peter! Save it for the field. Brian. Is there anything else, Maureen? Oh, he's lovely, isn't he? Jason Mohammed. Very sexy. I will have to cut you off there. I'm about to pep talk my reds. Of course. But just to remind you, Deborah, the hall is for the use of all community litter pickers. I've booked the hall, Maureen. Nine to ten. You're on red time now. You're 
not usually such a stickler for the rules, Deborah. So I hope your Reds are aware that it's only pure street rubbish allowed in the competition. Not diving in wheelie bins to fill your sacks. Huh? Heard from your husband? Well, me and my blues, we best be off. I can appreciate that your reds probably need all the pep talk you can throw at them. I mean, look at them. My reds are cocked and ready for action. I couldn't wish for a better team. Right. We best be off then. About turn blues. March on. <laughs> I really, really don't think I can do this. We've never had to fight for rubbish before, tribe. But that blue team are relentless. They're like seagulls. Let's talk tactics. When you see a piece of rubbish on the floor, what do you do? Dive for it, Debs. Like an excited lobster. That's an option, Julie. But what about once you've grabbed it and then you see another piece of rubbish out the corner of your eye? If you go to grab it, you could unwillingly let go of the rubbish you already have between your grabbers. Pop one piece in the sack and go back in the second? Could do, Peter. But then you'd be taking your eye off the rubbish, potentially offering your opposition an opportunity. Oh, you, uh, you signal to another Red to collect the second piece. Excellent, Matthew. <gasps> Teamwork. That's what we're looking for. If we work together as a team tribe, this competition will be ours. Yes! 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 Welcome, everyone! to the Council's Clean Rubbish Around Puthgall Awards 2022. Well, please join me in welcoming our guest today, Wales's finest presenter, Mr. Jason Mohammed. Yeah. Yes! Well, we hope this year's event will excite the public and bring awareness of local community cleanup, because a clean town is a happy town, and a happy town is a prosperous town. So, let's get this started without further ado, because celebrities don't pay for themselves. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the rules. Only street litter is to be picked, and leave your filled sacks next to the nearest bins and our officials will collect them. The team with the more sacks wins. Yep, got that, yep, 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 yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lovely. Let's start with our motto then. And what is our motto? Our motto is... Don't let rubbish take the mica. Step up and be a litter picker. That's terrible. Yes, yeah, that's grass crap, that, isn't it? Pedu, Achille, Rosale, Drospunia! This is our rubbish! My rubber grips broke. Oh, you could borrow mine, Peter. I'd be fine without them. Yeah. These are my Ron's grips. God love him. Oh, yeah. This was his thing. A little bit again, you know, oh. he loved it. <laughs> After tea, we'd go out on patrol. He really cared about this town. You remind me of him, Peter. Oh. Thank you, Janice.
the other bit as well, the, uh, the green top down there. You can keep those rubber grips, Pete. I felt a difference. I know you did. No, no, it's not going to get my... Oh, you have to go into the tree. Don't it! Don't it! Can we help you? Oh, lovely day, isn't it? I am official leader of the Red Community Litter Picking Tribe, Debbie Harris. Yeah, and? It's purely a precautionary matter. I can't run the risk of anything being left. You won't even notice I'm here. Carry on. Uh, are you for real? I oh, know. She thinks we're going to make a mess. Be late for that, love. All finished now. <laughs> yeah, we do our own cleaning up. Tara! Well, welcome back, everybody. You all enjoy yourselves, yeah? Cracking effort, mine, fair play. I can eat my dinner off that pavement. <laughs> So, the competition's over. The sacks have been collected. And I've gone through that truck with my bare hands and I've counted every single one. And it just remains for me to say, the winner is, congratulations, Blue Team! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, hello, kids. All right, do you want ice cream? Yeah, have ice cream. Yeah, go and ask your mother then for one. Don't take ice cream from strangers, yeah. Ta -ra. Fantastic. You must be so proud. Nice. I am. Yeah. You have no idea. It's probably best that you hang up your gilet and your grabbers and leave the litter picking to me from now on. Oh, your reds are welcome to join my blue We troop. won't be moving anywhere, Maureen. Debbie's reds might not have won today, but she cares about her tribe and her town. Debbie is twice the litter picker you will ever be. <laughs> So sorry you didn't win. But you got a wicked t-shirt. Come to sign of you? No, thank you. I I don't think I do. Okay. See yourself. Have a nice day. 